Good evening and welcome to another five minute photo adventure. And tonight I'm at Bev Ruth and Steps on the Cornish coast. Now, it is going to be, have to really be a five minute photo adventure for me tonight. I'm running a little bit behind time. I've got about an hour before the sun sets there. Um, so I've got a lot of work to do in order to get an image. So if you come to Bev Ruth and Steps, what do you shoot? Well, it's quite easy. You're on the North Cornish coast, for example. There's miles and miles of coastline there. Lots of dramatic cliffs and waves crashing up and down against them always makes for a good image. And then of course there are dotted about some golden sand beaches. Now you get some really interesting patterns in there, pools of water, they can add a lot to an image. But the thing I've rushed here for um, is the thrift. Now the thrift is the pink flower that kind of grows in clumps clinging to the edge of the cliff. Um, when it's at its best around springtime, which is why I've rushed here to try and get the last of it if I can, it really adds a nice bit of colour to the dramatic Cornish coastline. So that's what I'm going to be shooting tonight. I've got to go and find a nice clump, so I've got a little bit of work to do, then I've got to set up the camera. Um, so why don't you join me, we'll have a walk along the coast, see what we can find, and hopefully we can find some nice thrift to photograph. Okay, I've been rushing up and down uh, the coast path here, trying to find um, a good composition. I'm running out of light, um, and it's actually getting a lot busier here. There's a lot more photographers here than there was earlier, so just trying to find a good spot. Now, I have actually managed to find a small uh, clump of uh, thrift on the cliffside, which I'm going to use as my foreground interest. A lot of it is probably past its best, so um, I'm probably here a bit late in the season. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes it comes out late, sometimes it comes out early. There just the breaks. I'll just have to work with what I've got. But what I've got is quite pleasing. So I've got that in my foreground. I've got the coast running out, got the dramatic cliffs, some rocky outcrops, uh, and I've got obviously the, the waves, which are looking quite good. Now, in terms of camera setup there, which you can just see behind me, um, on there I've got my 16-35 f4, but it's a f16, ISO 100, um, and I've got a shutter uh, time of about a minute at the moment. Now, this is because I've got my circular polarizer on to take some of the glare off the, the sea. I've got a 0.9 medium edge grad just to balance out the sky and I've got my little stopper in. And what that longer exposure time is doing is help to paint some of the, uh, the white water into nice lines across the sea. And it's giving me a, a nice pleasing image. So I'm gonna take a few more frames of that and we'll see what they look like. Okay, so I think that's probably the best shot I'm going to get um, of the thrift tonight. Uh, no golden light, so I've ended up with quite a dark and moody image, which is fine. Um, I would like some, some light to reflect off the flowers, um, but as landscape photographers, sometimes we just have to work with the light that we've got. Now, I did spot uh, a composition that I want to grab uh, um, earlier on when I was out for a walk, and I'm going to have to do a bit of a sprint um, along the path there. So I'm going to get going with that. Um, so why don't you join me in a couple of minutes, and we'll see if we can shoot something just a little bit different. Okay, so I've made it down to my what will probably be my last viewpoint um, of the night. The sun um, has now gone down, but there's still a bit of light, so I can still get some photographs. What I'm going to shoot now is I'm going to shoot um, directly out to the coast, uh, along the cliff edges, where there's some nice rocky outcrops out to sea. And these make some really uh, interesting elements in the picture. Um, I might shoot landscape, might shoot vertical. I'll, I'll try and work out which one's uh, going to look best, but they are quite dramatic. There's big waves coming in, they're crashing over them. So um, I need to also pick my shutter speed carefully, I think. So I'm going for a roughly similar setup. Um, I switched to 24 to 70, I've gone to F11, ISO 100. I'm on a shutter speed of about two, two and a half seconds, but I think it's just long enough. I think anything longer than that, then the crashing waves will kind of get milked out. Um, I'll probably try a long exposure, because I like to try different things, just see what it looks like when it's all smoothed out. Um, but at the moment, I want to try and uh, capture the energy of, of, of the waves crashing against the rocks. So I've still got my circular polarizer on just to take some of the sheen off the water. Again, makes it look all dark and turquoisey. And I've got my 0.9 medium edge garage on just to balance out the sky. So I'm gonna take a couple more shots and I think it'll probably be time to go home after that.
Okay, my time here at Bed Roof and Steps has finally come to an end. I've got some nice images. Obviously, I didn't get any golden light, but I've got some nice, dark, moody, dramatic Cornish coastal photographs, which um, I'm quite happy with. Now, I hope you enjoyed your, your time here and it's inspired you uh, to come uh, and shoot um, at any time of year, really, at Bed Roof and Steps. It's the whole point of these five minute uh, adventure videos, just to give you a little taster uh, to encourage you or inspire you to visit these locations. Now, um, I'm going to pop up one of my images that I took here last year up on the screen. Uh, this image is actually an outdoor photography magazine this month. So if you want to see a little write-up on how to get here and what to shoot, etc., uh, do check that out. I'll leave uh, some details in the description uh, below. Other than that, if you did like this video, please do hit the like button, uh, leave me a comment, and of course, do hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. It really encourages me to do more videos uh, like these five-minute adventure videos. So um, until the next one, I'll see you then.